guys, Bob Taylor with iMusic Academy. Welcome to another deep dive of the blues. We're using another example from Blues Volume 1. Once again, thank you guys for those of you who have been getting the Blues Volume 1. It is $7 now. I took it from $24.99 to $7. All right, guys, the link will be in the description. But let's go ahead and do this lick in all keys. The reason I like this lick to show you for the next deep dive is I love the octave there. That's going to sound great over a C7. Flat 7 is going to sound great. The interval of the 6th, sharp 5th, 5th, and now you have the first 5 notes of each blues scale. All of this is really important because it really fits under the hand for all keys. So let's go ahead and dig in and do all keys. I will not focus so much on the left hand because we've been doing this. It's root 5th to root 6th of each key, okay? So let's go ahead and we'll do C one more time and go over the pattern. The pattern is octave, flat seven, six, sharp fifth, five, and then it comes down the blues scale. Sharp four, four, flat three, and then it goes up and back down. Not only does this give you a lot of note choices when you're playing the blues, but this is a great exercise to transpose into all keys. So let's go ahead and go up to D flat. Now remember that the first thing we need to do is we get our root fifth, root sixth bass line, no problem there. Octave, D flat to D flat, to the flat seven of a D flat scale, to the six, to the sharp fifth, and then, this is really important right here, the first five notes of the blues scale. So go ahead and get this shape under your fingers. D flat, E, G flat, G, and A flat. And notice how I'm far up, I'm up into the keys. That's also really important. And I've practiced all of these keys separately, so I don't even have to think about this particular shape. And you guys will be the same. You just have to focus on little patterns and making sure you're using a lot of repetition to really get them in your fingers. So here we go, let's do that slowly again. Octave, flat seven, six, sharp five, and then the first five notes of the blues scale. Let's go up to D. Same kind of thing. We have root fifth, root sixth of the key of D. Octave is what we're searching for first. Flat seven, six, sharp five, five, and then first five notes of the blues scale. D blues, D, F, G, A flat, A. And notice that I get that under my fingers, right? Again, slowly. Here we go. All right, let's go up to E flat. Same thing. Root fifth of an E flat scale to root six. That's my bass line. I'm gonna go octave, flat seven, six, sharp five, and then I have my blues scale, first five notes of the E flat blues scale. And notice once again, I'm up into the keys for this. I practice this really slowly. If you're an absolute beginner, just practice the blues, first five notes of the blues scale very slowly and get used to that pattern. So here we go, very slowly. Oops, I did that wrong. Let's go up to E and do the same thing. First thing is root fifth and the root sixth of the key. And there's my octave. Flat seven, six, sharp five, and then the first five notes of the E blues scale. E, G, A, B flat, B.
time on that. All right, let's go to, to F and do the same thing. Root fifth of an F scale to root sixth of an F scale. Here we go. Flat seven, flat uh, six, sharp five, five, and then, and then that's the first five notes of the blue scale for F. Let me do that again, octave. sharp. Now this one I want to make sure I'm getting up into the keys once again and I have root fifth, root six for my bass line. Make sure you get that and I'm up into the keys a little bit for my bass line. Octave first, flat seven, six, sharp five, and now the first five notes of the F sharp blues scale. Now this is something you probably don't play too much in F sharp or G flat, depending on how you look at it. But this is where we're gonna start doing this stuff. We're transposing into all keys so that in any situation, you'll be able to play and feel comfortable and confident. So here we go. F sharp, first five notes of the blues scale. And notice I'm up into the keys on this one. I've practiced this, so I don't even have to think about it, but I do need to make sure I have a good hand position. And oh, one little tip that I like to do is to make sure that whatever, if I'm working on the first five notes of the blues scale, it doesn't matter the key, I, my hands are already in the shape to play every single note. So here we go. Octave, flat seven, six, sharp five, five. First five notes. Let's go up to G. Same thing, root fifth bass to root sixth. Octave first, flat seven. And an easy way to go from the octave to the flat seven, this is very obvious, but you just go down a whole step. Then a half step down, right, for the sixth, sharp five, and then the first five notes of the G blues scale. Here we go. stuff guys I would turn on the metronome and make sure that I have a beat that I'm working with but because we're teaching this yeah I want to make sure I take my time and cover everything we need to cover all right so G shouldn't be a problem to you guys no problem there we're good let's go up to A flat and do this so root fifth to root six of an A flat scale and then I make sure I get my octave I'm a little bit up in the keys and then the flat seven six sharp five and then here I want to make sure that A flat, each finger is where it needs to be for the first five notes of the blues scale. Okay, so let's do that nice and slowly. Once I get to this E flat right here, I already have that shape. So my each finger is where it needs to be. That's really important. I know I've mentioned that a couple of times lately because I want you guys to be really successful with this. And so I want you to focus on the certain elements that make this lick and these ideas possible. You do octave, flat seven, and you get used to that sound. And the flat six, that's gonna sound great. 
and then the sharp fifth, a little tension there. And then once you get to here with your pinky, you are set up for this. And every note's gonna work. You guys get the idea. All right, let's do the key of A. We have root fifth to root six. Here we go. Octave, flat seven, six, sharp five, and then the first five notes of the A blues scale. A, C, D, E flat, E. keys to do guys we can do this so B flat root fifth of B flat scale to root six we have our octave here we go root uh, sorry octave flat seven six sharp five and then the first five notes of the B flat blues scale B flat D flat E flat E and F make sure that I get that pattern here we go very slowly about B flat is my, my hand is not straight on. There's a, just a little bit of an angle so that I can get up into the keys and also make this really fluid, right? So I'm turning my hand just a little bit to the left. So I'm not dead on straight. Let's do that very slowly. key of B. Okay, we have our octave, flat seven, B to A, sixth, sharp five, and then we get up into the keys to get that F sharp with our pinky. First five notes of the B blue scale, B, D, E, F, and F sharp. Here we go, and the left hand is root fifth to root six. Hey guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Let's do C to end with. That's your home key or your comfort key. I always say that as you're working on these really difficult keys, make sure you go back to something that feels comfortable to you. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And also just comment in the, the chat. I would love to hear from you guys to see how things are going. See if you're enjoying this, these deep dives and I'll always answer any questions that you have. Have a great day and we'll talk soon.